damn it. And we're back at you with another car review. What's up, guys? Do you see what we have behind me? Do you, show them what we got. Show them what we got. All right, show them me again. This, this is a 2018 Chevy Cruze. You might think this thing's just a commuter, but I know this thing's just a fucking commuter, bro. All right, let me pop the hood for you guys just so I can show you what this thing's boasting under the hood. Hogs, open that. All right, so. That bitch is all I ain't What we got? Chevy Ecotech. This is an engine that is uh, put in some Chevy cars. And over here, we have the little snail. Um, that's that's called a turbo for you childs that don't know. Um, over here, holy moly, this guy's trying to kill me. We Tricks got, up my sleeves. We got 20 psi of boost. Show him. 20 psi. Right there. Okay. 20 psi of boost. You might be asking yourself, "Huh, that's a lot of boost." Yeah. Tell that to Chevy. Okay. This thing screams down the highway. You guys, on a little walk around. Um, this thing, in, in all realistic, really, reels. It's pretty, it's pretty, it's actually a kind of a good looking car. We've got like Chevy's classic like angled design up here um, that gets kind of ruined by the license plate because it's flat where it should be uh, angled all the way down. Um, we don't have any fog lights, uh, but we do have some pretty cool LED, what? LED lights. We've got some pretty cool LED lights. Um, we've got some, some actual wheels here that have been curved once or twice by other people that need rental cars. We've got 205, 55, 16 tires. Seems pretty legit to me. Um, we do not have auto folding mirrors, so if you want to fold your mirrors, you just fold them like that, pull them back out, do what you gotta do. Um, we've got some nice doors. These babies are pretty sweet. Um, here's the back seat. Um, I wanna show you this back seat. So. This is pretty much where everybody sits in this car. Um, so let me show you what it's like to sit behind myself. It's pretty good. Um, it's not bad. The only bad thing is, if I shut the door, the window is like up to my head. And if I want to stick my head out the window, I have to clank my head a bunch of times because it's too short. So I just kind of have to duck. And I, you know, I'm 5'5", five five, so like that's pretty short in all real, real realistic -ality. <laughs> So, you know, it's then I can just do this and call out for the booty. Um, um, put my hat back on. Um, we've got a nice cup holder. It comes down out of the middle. Um, it's not bad. It's, it's pretty good. Although, if you put a fairly decent sized cup in there and then you take it out, this stupid rubber part just flings out. One time my mom was in here and she like pulled her drink out and then, and then like this happened. Like it came out like this and like, at the time we were um, on the side of a mountain so I had actually um, I had to actually go like a hundred miles down a hill and rescue it so hey Chevy if you're gonna watch this review can you guys for the love of Christ make this thing harder to pull out it was almost a perfect car okay oh doors are pretty light um, the trunk let me let me tell you guys about the trunk let me hold on. let me tell you guys about the trunk this all right so now I'm gonna show you guys the trunk so Chevy has a key to their cars most of the time and um, as you can see there's a lock unlock two times for a trunk button and then we got the panic if we turn the panic on it just honks which is very stupid um, if you press the, the trunk unlock button, it shows how big the trunk is. So, it... oh shit! Oh no! Oh god! Cut that! Cut that! <laughs> All right, now that we got D Hogs over here out of the trunk and his, sorry guys, and his, uh, had to pull one out real quick. We got his wean back in his pants. He's all taken care of now. Um, uh, I just wanted to show you guys that this trunk is big enough to fit a six one. How, how tall are you? A six one white male in the vehicle. Um, it doesn't really matter what the color they are. Um, there's a, also a spare in the uh, under compartment, um, 
and I just noticed that the battery is also right there too. So if you're wondering how to change your battery on your 2018 Chevy Cruze, you gotta just kinda pull this thing up, find your battery down there, give it a nice little replace, you know, and you're gonna be set to go back on the road in your Chevs. Okay, what we got over here, we got a door, it's got a back seat, it's got a switch for the window. It's not automatic, remember that. What we got up here, this is where the magic happens. We have the steering wheel, we have the shift knob, we have the parking brake, we got, dude, we got the uh, gauge cluster, we got, it, dude. We've got it all, okay? Jordan's gonna get in there, he's gonna, he's gonna show you some stuff, and, um, Go ahead and take a seat in there, Jordan. Don't be shy. She doesn't bite. We got a steering wheel. That's what the horn sounds like. We got automatic, automatic headlights. It's very important to know that we have automatic headlights. Remember that. Um, we got some vents. The vents are in a terrible spot because if you got trying to get them to blow at your face, they come out of here and they hit you in the back of the hand. If you got your hands on the, uh, you know, nine and three grips, don't recommend that. Your hand gets freezing. Okay. Disclaimer: My hands freezing right now okay cruise control we got that we got this weird rubber thing that you can mess with i don't like that fix that and make it buttons over here we got buttons to go do stuff with the display up here we got attack we got miles per gallon we got a screen that shows you your miles per gallon we got the coolant temperature we got the fuel we got all of that stuff going on okay taking another look into the center console i'm gonna come around over here All right, we don't we don't need to get uh, what's that thing called? We don't need a uh, copyright, so you're gonna have to you're gonna have to be quiet. I think one of my favorite features about this joint is that if I plug in my iPhone sooner or later, CarPlay comes up. CarPlay is pretty dope. We got some maps, we got Navi, you know. You know what I'm saying? If you want to watch a review about CarPlay, go somewhere else. They'll show you the in-depth stuff. I'm just showing you. This guy's got it, dude. Okay? We got the flashers. That's for when, you know, your Chevy breaks down. But it won't because this is a great car. We've got a lot of, um, you know, fan speeds for the AC, which blows cold. We have two different types of um, AC. The first kind of AC, we've got max AC. That means you're chilling, dude. The second AC, you got Eco AC, and that's where some cool stuff happens. This is scientific. So when when you pull up to a light and you're stopped, bro, this thing will turn off, bro. You know, you know what I'm saying, dude. Right here, show them this right here. It says auto stop. Yeah, bro. The car, yeah, it's gonna turn off, okay? It's gonna turn off, and you're not gonna have a choice, but it's going to turn off, and that's what's gonna happen. Because Chevy didn't put a button on here that says, turn that shit off, because they don't care what you want, they just care what they want. Remember that. In here, we've got a pair of sunglasses, you know, you could put some stuff in there. You could probably fit Dylan in there, it's pretty big. Um, you've got a nice big cup holder, or whatever, right here. Um, it doesn't fit a hydro, a 40 ounce hydro flask, so that's pretty dumb. Uh, the cup holders are pretty good. As you can see, we've got a Dutch in here. Um, we've got some plus and minus buttons on the shifter, you know, if you want to do some drag racing. Um, we've got a USB. We've got a, you know, what's that thing called? Auxiliary. Rest in peace. 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Um, we got a regular old fashioned, you know, cigarette lighter in here. And uh, you can choose where you want the, the AC to come out. Uh, we got we got a glove. Did you guys see that? It I opened it and it popped back up. What is that, Chevs? Huh? We got some stuff in here. We got some goodies. We got some stuff. Let's see if we can find anything funny in this manual. I don't know how to read actually, so let's put that back. That's kind of embarrassing. Um, in this door pocket, we have. Um, a napkin just in case doing huh. are we seven or are we 21 no one knows but for when Dylan was done in the trunk I had that in here for him um, I actually have a couple there's another one um, the uh, the dashboard 
has this uh, interesting hard touch leather looking material um, it's plastic it's not an interesting material it's just plastic um, and then right here we've got some uh, this is the interesting material I think it's like nylon but it's like a it's like a um, you know fabric you know like you'd put on your body to wear but you put this fabric on your car it follows over to here it goes over there this car has multi-speed windshield wipers that go out which is strange to me still but you can also wash a winder um, um, you got the traction control button here in the middle show them that it's right here press that and you can do all kinds of drift nuts and burnouts um oh yeah we got OnStar we got OnStar, we got we got uh, lights, you know, in case we need to read a map. And um, these bad boys, you can put your card in there for when you're about to, you know, get your Taco Bell. Oh, that's weird, it doesn't open. Got the mirror, there's the film guy. Uh, you can hit him up on his Instagram, it's um, gonna be right here. Let's make you wait awkwardly while you can read his Instagram. Okay, and then this guy's. Yeah, there's his Instagram. Just wait. Just make him wait and we'll stare at him for a while. All right, there you go. That's his Instagram. I think that pretty much sums it up, guys. Do, hey, do you boys? Do you boys think I need it? Oh, my film. My film guys. You need to shout out the film guy. My film guy is taking me somewhere. What am I supposed to point out? What am I missing? Anything? Oh. I've been mistaken, guys. He just wanted to get the hell out of the car because it's such a dope whip. And that is a wrap.